it's a new setup. <laughs> Hold on to your hats, gang. We're in a new environment, and I know that can be gravely upsetting for people, especially me. I'm having to like hold hold myself to anchor myself in where I am. Um, right, so I'm in a different room. I'm not normally in this room to film, but it's the room without furniture, so I had loads of space because today I'm going to be doing a pram first look, first impressions video. I feel like there's so much I want to say in this intro and I don't know the best order to say it in, so just bear with me. Um, I'm feeling a bit weird today. I don't really, don't really know why. Um, I'll blame it on the hormones. I blame everything on pregnancy hormones now. That is a gift of pregnancy. Everything is on my hormones, my hormones. So, I'll start off with, so you know that we're in a different room. Um, it's not gonna last forever. Like I've still got boxes and lamps and all sorts of stuff down there. Needs sorting out. Um, Hello, <laughs> I'm 23 weeks pregnant today. You'll be seeing this in a couple of days, I need to edit it. Um, I am a pram person. <laughs> Hi, my name is Louise and I am a pram person. You know how some people, like my dad, is really into cars. Like I spent a lot of my childhood going around car shows, as in everyone with a certain uh, like species type of car would drive up and park their car and then the other men with similar cars would all sort of enjoy them. My dad even had a t-shirt that said TVR which is the brand of car on it he had a special t-shirt and we would go and look at the cars and admire um, the things of the car, the bonnet, I don't know, I don't really know, I'm not a car person. Anyway, I always thought why are people like this, You, a car is just to get you from A to B. I still feel like that about cars mostly Prams, I get it. If there were pram shows where you could bring your pram and show it off and admire people's like wheels and hoods and foot muffs and adjustable handles, I I would be there at those. I would have a sad t-shirt. Um, so <laughs> when Silver Cross got in touch and said, do you want a free pram? I was like, um, can I bite your literal hands off for it? Yes, yes please, yes I do. Um, so. I'm going to show you a few things that have been gifted to me. I will say these are PR gifts. I haven't been paid to or contracted to make this video, but I felt like these were such big gifts. The like best way I could say thank you, aside from the email, is to do a video on them and be like, ah. Um, also, you know me, I like to show you cool things. And if you if you're in the market for a pram, then you you could look at this and be like, oh yeah, I might get that one. If you're not in the market for a pram and you're just watching this because you're like me and you love prams, I don't judge you. Comment below. I bet there'll be so many people that are like, I'm not pregnant, I just love prams. Um, uh, this is not something that I plan to put in this video because I'm waffling now, but a while ago, like a year ago, I went into mother care. <laughs> I feel a bit embarrassed about this. I went into mother care to test out the prams. I wasn't pregnant or trying to get pregnant or even with anyone, I was just single. <laughs> and I was testing out the prams and the woman was like, oh, do you need any help? I was like, no, I'm fine, thank you. Just testing out the prams. And she said, quite rightly, because why would, why would you be trying that if you weren't pregnant? She went, oh, when are you due? And I didn't feel like I could say, oh, I'm not pregnant. I just love pushing the prams around the shop. So I said, oh, too soon to tell, don't know yet. Um, so if that was you that was in the Northampton Mother Care store, sorry, just have a thing about prams. Right, I'll show you them. I'm not gonna use the correct jargon, but I will put a, like an annotation up or something if like you, you're really into that kind of thing. Um, so I'll get off my stool. Oh, would you like a little bump shot whilst we're here? Oh, hi. Hi there, six months. Well, 23 weeks, that's like six months-ish, isn't it? Um, so, um, boxes like this arrived at my door and I almost had breathing difficulties because I was so excited. I was going to do unboxing videos. I can't lift the tripod any higher, sorry about that. Um, I'll bend a bit. I was going to do unboxing videos, but I'm glad that I didn't because they took some assembly and I've been kind of like fiddling with them and playing with them all weekend, so I feel like I can tell you a bit more and this will be a better video for you. So, um, first of all, the boxes are like this and they have a picture of it on and that just excited me immensely. I'll just put that over there because that is surplus to requirements. So, I'm gonna go in terms of like 
least exciting to most exciting. Um, not to be ungrateful, of course. Um, this is going to go in Liam's car. I have another car seat. I have the Duna car seat, mm. um, which also excites me because that turns into a sort of pram. Whole separate video on that, but that's coming soon. And that also makes me do this a bit <laughs> with excitement. Um, but this is a silver cross one. This, I believe, is the Simplicity model. It should be flashing up on the screen. I'll bring it close to you because it can. Looks like this. Fairly just nice, sleek, standard um, car seat. I would imagine if you went on the website, it would tell you all the amazing like safety mechanisms and things. But it feels nice, feels soft. And also, it came with the Simply Fix base. I'll show you that. I'll just pick the camera up. So it came with the base, and that is the Simply Fix Isofix base. And I haven't taken that out of its packaging yet. Little tip bit of info, when that came, when all of this came, I was like heavy breathing with delight. And I was like, Liam, what's your favorite thing? What's your favorite thing? And Liam was like, I really like the Isofix base. I was like, that's surely not, that is your favorite thing, is it? And he was like, yeah, it's really handy. I was like, oh my God. We're different people, aren't we, babe? Anyway, right, so um, I have been given a pop pushchair buggy. Oh, maybe I should tilt you down a bit so you can see a bit better. Here we are. So this is the pop in pink, I think. I'll be putting it up correctly what it is. Um, and this excites me immensely. I love these sort of umbrella buggies because they are so, so, so easy to fold up and fold down. Um, once I've got the knack of it, oh, let me come down. Once I've got the knack of it, I'll do a full demo on on buggies if you want to. Because I'm not going to lie to you, I may end up getting more because I freaking love them and I can't help myself. And with Darcy, I have quite a lot of Darcy. It's, it's a problem. It's an addiction. I hold my hands up. Um, but I can do like reviews and stuff. But for right now, this is just a first look. I really like the little strappy on it. I've had Darcy in this. Um, I like that you just push this and it all comes out. I must say, I found it quite difficult to do it back up. So if there's, if you have this and there's a knack to it, let me know because I'm sure I'm just not getting the right knack to it. But to undo it, you just do that. And then your child is free. Um, this does all the lifty uppy bits, so that. And then you can also lay it flat quite easily like that. So if they want to have a sleep, that's really easy. And then it's like a squeezy button thing back here you push it back up and then under here it squeezy things on each side to pop it down and it has can you see there the little footrest for them the wheels are very nice swivel wheels can you see i'll move you down more there we go swivel wheels at the front um again good size basket and when i had my other one of these i had um had a couple of mother care zoobs and yeah, I think I've just had mother care umbrella ones. I ended up basically just hanging everything off the back of them. Brakes, obviously essential, and then this is all the um, folding it up mechanism. So that's the pop. I flipping love it and will be perfect for when she's a bit older. I'm gonna shut those shutters because the light is going all funny. So we've seen the car seat, we've seen the umbrella buggy, now for the main buggy. I'm not very long, I'll be pushing a little baby along in this absolute gem. Oh, I love it so much, I will push this down. Here we go, so I'm calling this the main buggy. I'll put its official title across the bottom, I believe it's a Wayfarer. This is in the sort of grey, black and brown um, uh, colour way. I've currently got it as the pram. Things that I love, I love how high the handles are. I'm 5'8", so I like things to be tall. This would be fine, but I really like to have everything super, super tall. I had a silver cross as well with Darcy, even though we were on such a tight budget. Um, and I would definitely say that silver cross are a more luxury brand. I mean, I think the Royal Family have silver crosses. Can't get more luxury than that, can you? Um, but we were really lucky as some of our family helped us out um, to get it. And I had um, the deluxe sleepover in Sugar Almond. And it was so beautiful, as beautiful as this. This comes down so nicely. I don't think I've attached everything yet correctly because I've just been playing with it for the weekend. Um, but this goes over like this. 
and then you can take this off currently it's just Ollie and stuff it all on it's got all sorts of ways to stick things on like this and then in there is the bassinet it's so soft and you can take this out to wash it it all comes completely apart I would line that though with like a blanket or a muslin or something like that and then you can unclip this entirely and put on a separate like um, seat bit for when they're a bit older but for now I just like having it up like this I want to be looking at this whilst I'm giving birth because my like thing that I'm looking forward to most about having a baby and when I first have her is just pushing her just through the park in her pram and like looking at her little rosebud lips and long eyelashes presuming she has long eyelashes and oh so excited for it right let's focus on the pram and not on the baby down here a very big basket it's popped up at the moment because it's been in its packaging but very very big and currently i've just got the rain cover in there really good wheels <laughs> liam was impressed with the wheels he's like wow that's a sturdy wheel i was like yeah that's right babe that's a sturdy wheel um and also it came with a change bag this one which matches and i can just keep in the in the footwell there if you've seen my um change bag video already you'll know that i've treated myself to a cat kids and beauty but i love that this matches um and it has the hooks to hang it onto the handle and it's just a very sleek little number perhaps liam will like to carry that around more than my like navy floral number um yeah i don't have too much to say about everything yet because oh hello what do you do i'm literally still working everything out and being like hmm, what is this what do you do when she's here and i've had a proper go on everything i'll give you a more comprehensive review this certainly isn't a review all i know so far is that i love the look of them i love the feel of them i think they're really sleek and really pretty and also i've had a lot of experience with silver cross in the past and really really rated them very highly so that's all we have to go on for now um i just wanted to sort of show them off a little bit like when boy racers go around to their boy racer friends houses and show their new like souped up fiat punto it's a bit like that but with prams <laughs> okay i hope that you like this video it's a bit haphazard isn't it but i'm just a bit excited um let me know what you think below i want to know everything you have to say about prams marie bits and clips if you're watching you know you know how i feel about prams we've had lengthy conversations about them I'll leave it here because it's starting to become the ramblings of a crazy lady. It's those pregnancy hormones. Okay, I will be back very shortly for another excellent video, either about babies or potentially about kittens. Two of the greatest things in life. <laughs> I've gone mad. Thanks for watching. Bye.